A great way to explore a new culture is through food. Keith and I decided to do a guided food tour in San Juan. We chose the Old San Juan Food Tour by Flavors of San Juan. Our first stop was Cafe Cuantros Sombras. It's a coffee shop owned by Puerto Rican coffee producers. Their coffee comes from the mountains of Puerto Rico. Here we tasted a ham, cheese, and guava butter croissant sandwich and a coffee. The coffee was amazing, but it was this simple Puerto Rican sandwich that stole the show. This is a Puerto Rican go-to sandwich, and now we know why. The flavor combinations are perfect, making it a delicious sandwich. This was Keith's favorite. At Cafe Del Angel, we started with their version of a mojito. It was perfect, cool and refreshing. Then we learned to make a traditional Puerto Rican dish called a mufango. Mufango is made by smashing fried green plantains and blending it with garlic, olive oil, and either chicken or veggies. It's always served with Puerto Rican beans and rice. This was my favorite. Now the best part of this food tour were the six new friends Keith and I made. Along the tour we stopped at the Butterfly People. Now Keith and I travel a lot and this is definitely one of the most interesting and beautiful shops we've ever been to. They make their art with real tropical butterflies that have lived a full life cycle and died naturally. It's really more of a gallery or museum than it is a shop. It's actually the home of the world's largest butterfly collection. Next stop was Cafe El Punto. The entrance of this restaurant is a long corridor made into a gift shop that is all things Puerto Rican. El Punto serves traditional Creole Puerto Rican food. We tried their alcapurga, which is a fried pocket sandwich, their fresh grouper ceviche, and their mouth-watering caprese salad made with Puerto Rican cheese, tomato, and avocado. Now it was time for something really cold and refreshing. We went to Senor Paleta to try a strawberry mojito popsicle. These were absolutely amazing and were perfect for a hot day. All good things must come to an end and we ended our food tour with some sweet goodness at Choco Bar Cortez. This welcoming cafe makes real hot chocolate, not cocoa. We tasted our hot chocolate with cheese and churros. First you put your cheese in your hot chocolate and let it melt a bit. Then using your churro, you scoop out some of the cheese and take a bite. Everyone agreed that this odd combination of hot chocolate, cheese, and churro was heavenly.